This whole event takes place in Southern California on the I-15 South near Temecula. You see it here on the map. The yellow pin shows uh, the site of the impact at the Rainbow Valley exit. And for all the experts on YouTube, it's just a coincidence. There's a, a picture of a truck going down the road in the same spot. The first part we're gonna analyze starts here at the one mile sign to the Rainbow Valley exit. And we're gonna watch the video as it continues down the road all the way to the Rainbow Valley exit itself. On the video, here I am approaching the Rainbow Valley one mile exit sign. You can clearly see that the blue truck is quite a ways ahead of me and I'm in the number four lane, also known as the slow lane. It appears he's just passing the no facility sign as I have marked on this map. Google Earth feature allows you to measure distance and this shows I'm about 640 feet from the truck at that point. Here I am coming up on the same side, maintaining the same distance and normal speed. Getting back to the video, we're passing the no facility sign and the next point of interest is going to be the rainbow exit sign at the top of the screen here. And here the camera time code shows we're at 25 seconds past, uh, continuing down the road. We're going to do a little speed analyzing here. On Google Earth, I plotted the ground distance between the two signs, and it came out to be 4,596 feet. If you look at the video time code, it took 55 seconds to travel this distance. And that comes out to 56.98, we'll just round it up to 57 miles per hour. Now we're approaching the rainbow exit sign. I'm gonna pause here because everything happens after this sign. Again, using the Google map distance measuring tool, it shows I'm about 713 feet from the impact site. From 07 seconds to 08 seconds, I'm passing the sign. Between 08 and 09 seconds, you can see the blue truck comes to a very quick stop behind the white truck. I'm also well into the exit dividing area. 12 seconds, I'm braking heavily, my turn signal's on, and nobody to my left is slowing. You can also see the shoulder to the right is steeply sloped, and I don't have any alternative but to push into the left traffic. At 16 seconds, I clip the truck. Here's the final eight seconds again.